You wind up ending up protecting in a storm cellar with a ton of people you barely know considering an occurrence nuclear clash, how might you answer? A man by the name of Tracker is rough terrain strolling while he watches the report about the beginning of a conflict between nations in the Center East and the US of America that will ultimately prompt a whole new universal conflict. In these situations, it is normal that the countries will utilize their atomic weapons against each other rapidly. Hunter meets the traveling siblings Jennifer and Satchel shortly after, whose car unexpectedly broke down just in time for some bombs to go off not far from them. Since they are inside the shoot scope of the blast, Tracker rapidly encourages the kin to conceal under their vehicle. Travel Bad complains quickly that he can't see anything, but Tracker keeps his eyes open. He was practicing taking the medication ahead of time, for unknown reasons. He covers Travel Bag's eyes right now and tells him to keep it close for the time being so it won't hurt him. From that point onward, Tracker takes the two kin on an excursion and lets them know that they need to rapidly get supplies and sanctuary. Jennifer, the older sister, asserts that she must notify their loved ones that they are safe. However, Hunter explains that neither their phones nor any other electronic device will function properly because the most recent explosions release an electromagnetic pulse. That likewise assists with making sense of why their vehicle bafflingly evaporated during the impact. She also wonders why there is a war, but Hunter insists that they must first deal with more pressing issues. He guarantees that they just have about an hour to track down food, water, supplies, and a diesel vehicle to travel quicker before the radiation from all the atomic bombarding begins to influence the climate. Jennifer prescribes going to Roadway, saying that they can find someone to help them. However, Tracker declines, imagining that they need to keep away from populated locales whatever amount as could sensibly be anticipated until they have full data on the thing is truly happening. They are lucky to find a truck with adequate diesel sometime thereafter. On the road, Satchel informs Hunter that he still cannot see and inquires whether it is normal, to which Hunter reluctantly responds, yes. Not long later, they finally get to a little general store. At this point, Tracker encourages Jennifer that they need to look for water, quality food sources that are high in proteins, batteries, and neatness units. With that, the two get advancing while Sack stays behind. The three move all that they need and drag away with perfect timing for a dead man to show up in the supermarket. Sometime later, the three go over a woman named Elizabeth, making the rounds mentioning their help. As demonstrated by her, she was gone to Waco when her vehicle all of a sudden passed on. Hunter asks her about the number of explosions she witnessed, to which she responds, too many. Elizabeth understands the grave danger presented by the conflict they are right now battling. The tracker then advises her to move toward the back of the truck because he says they need to find a comfortable spot. To some degree later, they find a house and Tracker endeavors to speak with someone inside communicating that they need to find a basement where they can pull up. A gang of a weapon slowly leaps out with the voice of a child and asks